Deja Vu 2. It couldn't get any more heartbreaking after a last second loss to Washington, could it? Yup, USC loses another one as time expires. Welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm Jonathan Camus, being joined by our USC beat writer, Michael Lev. And geez, another heartbreaking loss for the Trojans. Uh, you might have seen this one coming. You don't give Stanford that much time left in the fourth quarter. Stanford converted their third downs at a 75% clip. They did. Was it bad clock management at the end of the yeah. game, or was it bad clock operations at the end of the game? There That's one of the questions. Mm -hmm. Either way, uh, too much time for the Stanford Cardinal. Um, with their great quarterback, with USC's struggling defense, um, a minute plus, you, you, knew what, you knew what the ending was going to be before it even happened. Okay, well, at least the offense looked good for the Trojans. Uh, last week we were talking about, hey, why not Dylan Baxter in the Wildcat? We saw that this week. He scored a touchdown, and Matt Barkley looked great, throwing for 390 yards, and I think he found a new favorite receiver. Yeah, he did. I mean, Robert Woods was, you know, in Lane Kiffin's words, spectacular. Uh, in that game, you know, 12 catches, over 200 yards, three touchdowns. A lot of it was, you know, his own doing, too. Funny moment, if you want to call it that. Sharice Wright picks up the fumble, and Andrew Luck comes out of nowhere and delivers one of the biggest hits you'll ever see from a quarterback. Have you ever seen a quarterback hit that hard before? I Not, not being the one who's doing the hitting, no. <laughs> no. Um, Andrew Luck's yeah. a big guy. Okay, let's go to the injury report. Unfortunately, Dylan Baxter has a little bit of an injury. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, well, Dylan told uh, reporters after the game that he had suffered multiple sprained toes uh -oh. uh, on his last run where he, where he went out of bounds. This is the same thing. Uh, that happened to Joe McKnight, I believe, in the Rose Bowl against Penn State. And he mm -hmm. was out for a while. Um, so I don't know if he's going to be back. Uh, you know, also, Malcolm Smith hurt his knee in that game, so there could be even more changes at linebacker. And we're still waiting for Wes Horton to come back and really make that defensive line complete. Uh, it is an incomplete unit right now. Okay, USC losers of two in a row, and here comes Cal. What does USC have to look out for? Yeah, well, Cal's defense is playing really well. Yeah, they are. Um, if you take out the one game where they struggled, which was against Nevada, the pistol offense, Friday night, prime time, a lot of factors there. They haven't given up more than 10 points in a game. That's, that's wow. USC-like, USC circuit yeah. 2008. I think that USC is going to be able to move the ball and they're going to be able to score on count. But can they stop the ball? Shane Vereen's out there in that backfield. We will see. So let's go to uh, one of our reader questions. This comes from Jose and uh, we hit on this a little earlier. He says, am I the only one? He says, am I the only one who thinks Matt Barkley is a bit overrated? Has everyone forgotten Mitch Mustaine? I've heard this question a lot from USC fans. Um, it doesn't seem to matter whether Matt Barkley's playing well or playing poorly. Uh, you know, as we talked about before the show, that you know, the backup quarterback is always kind of the most popular guy <laughs> in town. Yeah, he is. And, and there's little doubt in my mind that Mitch Mustaine could come in and run this offense and run it very well. But USC has made a commitment to Matt Barkley. Um, he's playing much better than he did last season. He has as many touchdown passes as he had as a freshman with 10 fewer interceptions. Yeah. So he's improving. Let's get to our predictions for the game and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the Trojans busting out of this funk, 35-21 USC, who do you got? I'm in complete agreement with you. Uh, I'm gonna pretty much guarantee a victory here oh, wow. on the show. A guarantee uh, everybody, US, Joe Namath, I'll, I'll take you USC at? 30, um, Cal 20, um, you know, as I said, I, I think they can move the ball against Cal with their more balanced offense. And I think Kevin Riley, Cal quarterback, is just bad enough <laughs> to give the game away. Okay. He's, he's kind of a, they're kind of a tease team. He's kind of a tease player. Just when you think they're going to be good, they kind of screw up, and I think that's what we're going to see on Saturday. Okay, hopefully for the Trojans that comes out to be true because I don't think they can stomach another last-second loss. Thanks to Michael Lev, and for all your latest USC information, be sure to check out usc.ocregister.com. Thanks for watching.